how you guys it's pessy come back to you with another freaking video and today 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 i will be teaching you how to make um steak and shrimp fries i don't know what y'all want to call this i guess um gourmet fries <laughs> but um right in front of you i have some fresh shaved meat from the meat department out here and uh, meat market i guess that's what you call it meat market i got some fries you can use whatever fries you want um i have some fresh shrimp as y'all know i always use fresh shrimp i have some cut up bell pepper onion and some cheese now you can make you can make your cheese fresh or you can just use a, a jar of cheese now i chose to use a jar of cheese i usually don't use this cheese but the stores is out of the cheese that I use. I usually use an all natural um, cheese. I forgot the brand of it. But if you go to like an organic store, they have all natural cheese in a jar. But anyways, let's get on to cooking. Okay, so I forget the seasoning. This seasoning um, I got from Walmart. I didn't want to season my meat. I just wanted to try this out once I seen this. This is called Brazilian Style Churrasco and um i guess you use this seasoning when you grilling but i'm not grilling so today i will be using this in my steak um i'm also using garlic salt as y'all know this is my favorite seasoning and i always use this in everything okay so let's get right into this video first thing you want to do is put your meat in a skillet and you also want to stir up your fries. I don't know if you're going to use the deep fryer or the stove or the air fryer. Just make sure your fries will be cooked by the time you finish um, with the steak and shrimp. Okay. And once again, this is shaved steak. So all you want to do is combine all your ingredients into one skillet. The back of this package states that you should use two tablespoons of seasoning for every two pounds. This is about a pound and a half, so I'm going to use two tablespoons. <laughs> One. Two. Now I'm going to add some garlic salt. You can use whatever seasoning you want when making this, but this is the seasoning that I'm going to use. Now I'm going to put this on. I took the cheese out the jar and I added about two tablespoons of milk because I want my cheese creamy. And now I'm about to simmer the cheese so it can melt down and stay hot. Okay, so since the steak don't take long to get hot, <laughs> since the steak don't take long to cook you want you don't want to overcook the steak because you don't want it to be tough once it starts to get the caramelized color you want to cut off your stove but make sure your meat is done okay but as you can see the meat is very very thin the meat is almost done <laughs> The meat is almost done. I did cut it up. Stop hot, Hazel. I did cut it up to um, high because I really want that, you know, that that crispy look. <laughs> you know, I just want some color to it. So I got the stove up high so it can get that little color. You know that, you know that steak color. Meat is going to be done. Okay, so the steak is done. Onto the shrimp. Use the same skillet that you just cooked your steak in and melt, um, what's this, two tablespoons of butter. Pull your shrimp in. For your shrimp, you can either leave it plain or season it however you like. I season mine with um, garlic salt and wrench powder. And you can probably find wrench powder um, at any store. I got this from Snooks. It's a store where I live at called Snooks. And they have it there. And I just love putting it on my shrimps. 
especially like when you adding it fries to it it tastes so good add some parsley just to make it look good now cook it y'all see how good these shrimps look this is how y'all want y'all shrimps to look okay these shrimps is now done uh, I'm going to leave it in the fillet. I'm just going to turn off the stove. Fries done. I didn't forget about the cheese. I don't know why this cheese looks so mustard colored, but <laughs> um, it looks like regular cheese. Uh, but yeah. So the cheese is done. Now I'm about to make my plate. Okay, my plate. First, add the fries. Like so. Second, add the cheese. Now add the meat and the shrimp. And it's going to look something like this. Honey, mm, I just can't wait to eat this. <laughs> So this is the finished results. As y'all can see, it looks good. You can add tomatoes, you can add sour cream, you can add whatever you want to the top of this. Y'all already know I'm adding some cream, not some cream cheese. I'm adding some sour cream to the top of this and I'm about to eat and get full. Now before y'all get in my comment section, let me just tell y'all this. If y'all know y'all going to have a heart attack, do not eat this meal. If you know you have high blood pressure, do not eat this meal. If you think that this meal is unhealthy, do not eat this meal. Okay? <laughs> I don't know how many times I got to say this. I love eating. I love fat. I love whatever I like to eat. Okay? But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all try this recipe out, please comment in the section below how it turned out great for you okay <laughs> just let me know if y'all like the taste of you know everything together once you eat it and everything else but anyways i hope y'all having a great day peace out